Hey, it's the Gravity Falls Gospel Podcast. It's usually the podcast where we watch an episode of Gravity Falls and then we talk about it and tell stories about life and stuff. Um, I'm Eugene. I'm Chris. We're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. We actually have a really special guest. Who do we have today on the show, Chris? Today, we have got the, propri- the proprietor, uh, sure. the imagineer, the inventor, <laughs> the uh, any other word you want to put in front of that, uh, Grunkle Stan, Stan Pines. Mystery, mis, mis, Mr. Mr. Mystery. Mystery. <laughs> Can you even say yeah. it? Um, yeah, we uh, managed to get him as a grab. Now, he may think he's actually on the radio. I don't think he understands <laughs> what a podcast is. But I'm sure that you will enjoy the interview nonetheless. Uh, GravityFallsGosper.com, GravityFallsGosper at gmail.com, GF Gosper Cast on Twitter, one iTunes, and we are on Facebook as well. Facebook? But you guys don't care about that. You guys want to talk to Grunkle You want to hear what Grunkle Stan has to yeah, say. Yeah, you do. But really quickly, Gravity Falls Disney Channel, uh, Fridays, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Um, we put a link in the show notes also for every single upcoming episode. So check that out. Watch it on TV. Support it. Buy it on iTunes. Yes. Do all that. Tell your friends. Uh, Make them watch it. <laughs> I know them. it's a hard sell saying, hey, watch this cartoon on the Disney Channel. <laughs> I know you're an adult, but if they watch it, they will like it. And you've probably already gotten your friends to watch it. And if you haven't... What's we, your problem? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Get but on anyways, it. all right. So we're going to be right back with uh, Grunkle Stan. The following represents the opinions of Grunkle Stan and only Grunkle Stan and does not represent any stance, statement, or opinion of any unnamed corporate conglomerates or other corporations that may or may not be involved in the making of certain television shows based on the events of Grunkle Stan's life. Carla, I've always loved you, but I never had the guts to say it. All right. We are here today with Grunkle Stan from... He is the proprietor of the Mystery Shack. and uh, Proprietor slash uh, inventor, creator, <laughs> uh, you know, g- give me some more titles. Okay. Uh, he is also the uh, innovator... The Thank Imagineer. You. Imaginator. I coined yeah. that. <laughs> Anyone who says that owes me ten bucks. I say ten, I'm at twenty bucks. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show with us, Grunkle Stan. Oh, it's you know, it's a pleasure. I've I've never been interviewed on the radio before. I'm I'm, I'm pretty excited actually. Wait, can are, can we call you Grunkle Stan? I guess we technically can't, right? Yeah, I prefer the term Mister Mystery, uh, but you know, uh, and anything other than you jerk, I'm used to that. <laughs> All right, we'll try. Okay. We'll try our best to not call you you jerk. Uh, you just did it. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> Look, we're trying. I apologize for Eugene. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so l- let's start like this. Uh, what originally inspired you to start the Mystery Shack itself? That's an excellent question, Stephen. Your name is Steve <laughs> Frederick Freddy. It's, it's Eugene. Eugene. No, is, aren't you like Freddy and the Weasel in the morning? Isn't that the show I'm on? <laughs> yeah, yes, this yes. is Freddy, Freddy and the Weasel. Am I talking to Freddy or the Weasel? Uh, you were talking Freddy. to Freddy. And Freddy, this is... I like you. Weasel, <laughs> you're the life of this show. You're hilarious. <laughs> I love your little your, your routines and the voices you oh, do. Oh, yeah, all the all the voices. I love this show. So it was a question, uh, why am I so great? Something like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is Freddy again. Uh, Freddy. The question is, how... What was the original idea behind starting the Mystery Shack? Yeah, sure. Well, you know, I mean, everybody has a house, and houses are good. They, uh, they keep the rain out of your soup, you know. Um, but, uh, but few houses are filled with uh, mystery and wonder, and I thought, hey, I put up some attractions, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I uh, maybe put up some signs, Burma Shave style down the road, and uh, maybe I might make a couple extra bucks take care of me in my old age. Uh, now, I got lucky, in fact, because the uh, property that I purchased haunted up the wazoo all right <laughs> it is real did i say sh- please believe both of those yeah hey, kids listen to me i have a hard time i've got a sailor's mouth that's a medical condition so uh, make sure you add like a honking car sound or uh, maybe one of those funny weasel sound effects in case yeah, I say we'll, we'll use the uh k-w-e-l uh soundboard to make it kid friendly speaking in code <laughs> what it, what are you from the oregon the state of Oregon in the first place? Nah, nah, nah. East Coast and parts unknown. Uh, <laughs> beyond that, my lawyers have not allowed me to disclose my original birth location. Then wh- why why in Gravity Falls, Oregon? Like, why that location specifically? All right, between friends, listen to me. We're all friends here. I love your show. Jimmy and the Weasel, listen. I've been arrested in a lot of states. I've been kicked out of a lot of town halls. I've been chased by a lot of pointy forks, pitch and otherwise. This is the only town that I got left where the cops don't know where I am. 
this seemed like the perfect place to lay low. Plus, it's beautiful. All right, well, Stan, how uh, how many this years? This is the weasel. You... This is the weasel yeah, talking. This about. is the weasel. Weasel, I love you. <laughs> You're hilarious. How many how many years have you been running the Mystery Shack? Oh gosh, let's see. Well, Seuss was twelve when I started. So boy, too many, I tell you that. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something about that guy. Have you met this guy, Seuss? He calls your program like every day. He wants to win one of your weasel contests. <laughs> we have kid, we haven't met him yet. Yeah. He comes to my shack, right? I, I put out an ad in the paper looking for kids who don't ask a lot of questions and don't need a lot of money. Look, let's be frank, he's terrible at his job. But I, I can't break his heart, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was our first and probably will be our last employee, this guy. He's an odd character. You know, if you put a blanket over his head, he'll just fall asleep like a canary. <laughs> I've used that trick. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you tell us about the other employees that are at the Mystery Shack right now? I, I, I know that you have... Uh, well, you have one other employee and then two people that help you there. Well, yes, yeah, exactly. It's good I'm on the radio because we're always hiring. Whoever's out there, we need <laughs> more help and hands. We don't exactly have a crackpot staff. I got this teen teen girl, Wendy. I, you know, I don't really know what she does. I tell her to work the cash register. I, I, she's always missing. I, she must have some hiding place in the shack. I don't know where it is. For a brief period of time, I had this guy with a bunch of snake tattoos. And he would just, uh, he'd play a little little drum roll whenever I would come out for the guest. But he just, he just vanished. I don't know what happened to him. And then the kids, I got these two, oh, I got this niece and nephew, um, uh, uh, Mabel and uh, Dip, Dip, Dippy. I always get his name wrong. Um, I love these kids, uh, but they're not, they're not the best. Uh, that Mabel, she's got one of these, I don't know, it's a plastic gun. It spits out gems and jewels on everything. Have you seen these? I think we've seen those. Good Lord. Yeah, she needs to give that thing a rest. She's also got one of these, uh, I, I made this mistake of letting her uh, take anything she wanted from the gift shop, and, and I forgot that I had a military-grade <laughs> uh, grappling hook that I got from a heist like 40 years ago, so now she's got that in her possession. I, she's persuasive, actually. She could probably be a great salesman if she could you know, stop dreaming about unicorns and beavers and whatnot. <laughs> um, and then the boy dips. Um, you know, here's the thing with this kid. He's smart, right? But but, he, but he's the wrong kind of smart. He, he, he's book smart. He's not people smart. Really easy to trick. You know, I do this thing where I tell him I'm going to take a coin out of his ear. Freaks him out every time. He, he just gets the sweats and backs away and does an unclean gesture. He doesn't know it's a trick. He's got a lot to learn from his sister, I'll tell you that. Confidence. Let me ask you this. Uh, I know that you're a big fan of the black and white period piece old lady boring movie channel. Who told you that? I never watched that channel. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've heard some rumors of you enjoying certain, uh, I don't know, movies or, or Friday night specials on there. Can, do you have just any comment told you on that, that? Didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we were just occasionally told... lost the remote and had to endure their programming. All right, I'll put it that way. Wh which which programming is that? Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I got a foggy memory in my old age, but uh, the Duchess approves. Uh, starring Sterling Stemble Burgess as the Duchess, and, and uh, Grampton St. Rumpterfrabble as Irascible Coxswain, Santa Blug and Hampton Fuppenshire. I think. I'm a little old. Now, we haven't seen this movie, because we don't get that channel here, mm -hmm. but uh, we were wondering what a Coxswain is. Y you know, I think it's some kind of boating term. It's oh. filthy. They shouldn't let it be on <laughs> television, I'll tell you that much. But there's a, a, a department that monitors this stuff. They drop the ball. All right. I also know that you are a fan of sad clown paintings. Oh, and I'm wondering oh, why yeah. exactly that is. Uh, well, I mean, first of all, do, do you know about Thomas Kinkelly, painter of clowns? <laughs> He's an incredible artist, <laughs> just a natural. Uh, you know, his whole life only paints clowns. Uh, you know, nothing garish like a landscape or, a, you know, a woman's form. Good Lord, no. Beautiful renderings of the saddest clowns. Only the most emotionally disturbed clowns. I used to collect his art, but I actually, I, I recently got a new one. Um, I um, acquired it uh, through <laughs> means, um, and it uh, looks great on my wall, and every time I look at it, I, I think about the person that I stole, I think about the person that I purchased it from. <laughs> Gives me a good feeling in my, whatever that thing is, the blood comes out. It, you know? <laughs> chest, chest, chest guy. The chest guy. Well, Stan... Yeah. You know, surely you being such a such a pillar of the Gravity Falls community and being such a local celebrity, I'm sure you're 
got to be a big hit with the ladies, right? <laughs> you know, you know, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little past my game these days. I, I recently tried to use some of my moves on a woman. You know, look, look I'm charming, sure, but I think I overdid it. Now she's in love with me, and as good as I am at getting women to to just fall for the, you know, to want to want to take a ride on the stand of war, you know, I can't get them to leave. Is the problem? Um, do, you, do you have any tips for getting a, you know, a maybe husky, older, one-eyed woman to leave you alone? <laughs> well, have you tried perhaps um, tricking her into closing her other eye and then running off? Oh, that's good. Like I say, uh, hey, hey, honey, watch out. And then I throw some Tabasco sauce on her face, <laughs> right? And then I just <laughs> I book it, right? Yeah, that sounds good. We also know that you're a big fan of jokes, and I was wondering if you had any jokes for the people listening in right now that you particularly enjoy. Sure, sure. Well, it's a little intimidating to be in front of the weasel himself and try to tell a joke. <laughs> you know, um, you're the best, man. But okay, all right, let's see. Uh, it's a little blue, so uh, any kids listening might want to, you know, grow a pair. All right, here we go. <laughs> Why do women wear makeup and perfume. Ready? Because they're ugly and they stink. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Worth it. Oh man, Stan, that was that was such a good one. I might have to add that one to my joke library. Make sure you add plenty of applauses. And oh, ogres. Of, of after course. I tell that punch <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Don't worry. Well, Would you, I, I, you wouldn't I mind. You it's been a, it's been a pleasure and an honor. Can I plug the shack? Yeah. Please. Yes. Please. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, do you like magic, mystery, and free parking? Then come on down to the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack, located six eighteen Gopher Road, Gravity Falls, Oregon. And if you come there, you'll see me, Mister Mystery. You'll be able to marvel at Seuss, the weird gopher tooth boy man. <laughs> Behold, Mabel, the girl with a mouth full of metal. Zipper, the kid with the head so darn big that he can barely figure out where he's going. Wendy, the 15 year old who's tall like a grown woman because she got freak lumberjack jeans. And of course, me, your favorite, Grunkle Stan, the most charming man on earth. Come for the, come for the mystery? Stay because I uh, took the wheels off your car and you can't leave. That's Mystery Shack. M I S T E R Y, currently spelled H A C K until I could get the S fixed. <laughs> well, Greg, Grunkle Stan, thank you so much for coming on Jerry and the Weasel in the morning. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. It's Jimmy and the Weasel, but I get my own <laughs> name mixed up sometimes, so that's cool. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and uh, is there any, any last parting words of wisdom you'd like to give to the audience listening to you right now? Parting words of wisdom. Let's see. Hmm. I'm on the spot here. Send me all your money. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Grunkle Stan. The pleasure's been all yours. And we're back. It's Freddy and the Weasel. Or is it? Auga. <laughs> oh, big thanks to Grunkle Stan for agreeing to come on this humble podcast. And it's... I don't... I don't know what episode this is going to be because we record them kind of in bunches. It'll probably be still in the opening, what, 10? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, look, that was awesome. That was awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But seriously, uh, if the characters involved on the show are so open and willing to come on shows and interact with fans, it's definitely a show that everyone out here should support. Watch it on the Disney Channel Fridays, 930, 830 Central. It's on all the time. You can buy it on iTunes. And please tell people about it like seriously this is a show that is we want to last forever we want it way more than six seasons in a movie i want want 20 seasons and two movies um is there any do we have any last words about having grunkle stan on the show i don't know um first of all he sounds like a guy that has a lot of problems yeah yeah (laughs) which is good i mean that fits in with us like it's it's kind of a shame that he doesn't understand what podcasts are or how they work. Because if he had a podcast himself... Well, or I was going to say, if he could, if he had listened to the other episodes oh. of our show, he would know uh, how many problems we have. <laughs> you know how messed up we were. I mean, look, it's obvious that one, if not both of us, are going to turn into Grunkle Stan <laughs> by the time we get to his age. I mean, we better start committing some crimes to catch yeah, up with him. Yeah. So, 
Um, I mean, we are probably going to retire in, in Gravity Falls, Oregon. Oh, of course. So, making our own mystery I'm chat. already, as soon as we get done with this, I'm going to hop online and start looking for some of those Thomas Ken Kelly paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but seriously, that was awesome. GravityFallsGosper.com, GravityFallsGosper at gmail.com, GFGosperCast on Twitter, and we're on iTunes and Facebook. And, I mean, look, we are still totally jazzed at the fact that this yeah. episode just occurred. So, <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing else that we can say or be clever. We are trying to just bask in the moment. Yeah, worth it. Ah, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, Any last words, Chris? I got nothing, man. This I have no, awesome. I have no idea what the next episode is going to be, but hopefully we'll have actually some more guests uh, yep. from the show on pretty soon. So you guys just stick around for that. And uh, hey, watch more Gravity Falls. Yeah, sure. leave us a leave us a comment. Send yeah. us an email. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. All and if you uh, leave a negative comment about this episode, you have no soul. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to punch you down. We'll find you. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's it. So thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you guys later. Next time. From now on, I want to spend them all. Happy summer down at Gravity Falls, y'all. I'm on it all. The mystery's called. Happy summer down at Gravity Falls, y'all. From now on, I'll never go back. Happy summer at the mystery shack, yo. Matter of fact, I'm on every summer back. Because I wasted everyone that wasn't at.